Okay, here we are. Got something fun for you guys. I didn't get to do a proper introduction going into this video because I'm a noob and I simply forgot to load my camera up in the car on my way to the shoot. So, amateur mistake. I'm gonna make sure it doesn't happen again. I'm a Porsche guy at heart. I'm a Porsche guy in my blood and my veins. I breathe the Porsche brand. And I got something really cool for you guys today. Down here in Miami, back with my buddy Marvin, uh, head of content creator for Wheels Boutique, shooting a Porsche 918, and it is pulling up here right now. Wow. Up oh, front axle lift. This is a Vysock package. 918 really only came with only a few options on the 918, the Vysock package. You get the little carbon fins right there in the back, a bunch of carbon stuff. But that is a beauty. That is rhodium silver, actually. You guys probably remember Marvin from the Ferrari video. So these are Anarchy wheels. He just said XR301. I'm gonna double check and make sure that's okay. I have never seen wheels on a 918 before, only once. It was Champion Motorsport. They put their R74 forged wheels on there. Other than that, I've never seen another 918 with wheels on it. So this is actually the second one I've seen. All right, so I am really stoked for this. I know the guys at Wheels Boutique do a lot of cool stuff. I don't think I've ever seen one car like come out of there that looked horrible. I seriously don't. I've been doing a lot of shoots with Marvin and the guys from Anarchy and Wheels Boutique. They're great people. So when they hit me up about this, they're like, yo, we know you're the Porsche guy. Let's do something cool. So I'm going to show you the location a little bit more. I kind of wanted to fit it with the 918 and its heritage and everything you know, over in Europe and stuff typically here in Florida everything is flat you know when you think of Florida you think of the sky and the palm trees and the water well typically in Germany they don't really have that so I kind of wanted to location scout a little bit and luckily in uh, where we are here in Miami there's actually this open public horse stable area with a horse track and when you look at it from a certain perspective and you tackle it it kind of has that European horse stable you know so not european vibe not saying that a horse stable is european vibe but you guys hopefully you guys catch my drift but it definitely looks somewhere that isn't your typical south florida miami spot which is what i wanted to tackle with this i don't really like to shoot in direct lighting especially on a white car a silver car so i'm kind of hopefully let the sun go down a little bit more here kind of give it a better effect not effect, but just a better composition of lighting. Got the key. I'm six foot three, probably six foot four with Jordans on. Yeah, baby. Woo! Okay, we're in. Luckily, is this a shelf in here? Does the Porsche 918 have a little, hold on. I'm just gonna look at that. There we go. Come over in here. Now the cool thing about the 918, let me see if I remember it. Turn the camera just all the way to the right. Now you're just in EV mode. Yes, you're just in EV mode. Put it in drive and we are off. Release parking brake. It's not automatic here. Push the button and we are off. There we go. Remember, the 918 walks so the Taycan could run. Now the cool part is, you switch the dial here. Let me do a little thing right here. And now the V8 will turn on, watch. Pretty rad. Let me come over here. I'm gonna back it up a little bit. Kinda get, I don't wanna be in direct lighting, I wanna be in Different lighting. I want to be in kind of where I kind of have like a little bit of something to work with here. Because I know as that sun goes down, I will get some more shade. There we go. Got it. Was 
as the sun goes down, I know this, the lighting will get better. The lighting is actually isn't that bad. I actually have it covered up a little bit. So it's not that bad, you know, shooting, it's not that harsh of lighting because it is overcast a little bit. So the sun isn't, you know, just pulsing on the side of this car, kind of like how it is with the buildings. You guys can see like over there, it's just really heavily on there. Again, the lighting is not that bad, but I'm gonna redirect the car because as you can see, there is no shadow here on the car. It's behind it where I want there to be a shadow up front. So I'm gonna adjust it to kind of give it that effect. I'm gonna put the camera in here so y'all could witness this atrocity. All right. Unreal. Imagine going to get coffee. Just go to get coffee. A simple coffee run. And you have to manipulate your way around this car. So the sun's more facing that way. So you guys will see what I mean here. So watch. Come in here. Cast a little bit more shadow. Just getting my three quarter shots down. There we go, that should be good. See, now you come over here. There we go. There we go. That is, you're, you're good, Kaylee, do your thing. <laughs> there you go, now this is what I mean. So something I don't really like to tell, not that I don't like to tell, but that I don't really give enough advice on, is that aggressive overshadow shot and what i mean is like this so obviously you can see kaylee in the background marv right there so if you come up a little bit higher you can see obviously in post editing they'll be gone the, my prius will be gone the cars in the background will be gone but if you come up high enough you just get that proper straightforward shot and you remove these poles that shadow just leaves this awesome presence it's all a lighting game if you're not strobing you're just playing with the sun somebody asked me the other day if you could have any superpower would it be and as a photographer, I kind of made a joke saying, I wish I had the ability to control the sun's position. Finishing up here, unfortunately, I will not be able to do rollers of the car today, but I have it positioned. Did such a great job designing this car. 2014 now, you know, it's 2024. Timeless design. It, it still looks like this car could come out today and just be so appreciated for what it is. I mean, look at that. Given, you know, this one is lowered on some wheels, but... I don't even think it is lower. I think there's just stock fitment. Hey, Marv, this is stock height, right? It's not lowered? Just lowered? Okay. Again, car looks phenomenal. You know, hats off to Wheels Boutique and Anarchy Wheels for putting this one together. Yeah, we got part two set up. Actually, just arrived yesterday. So, give it up. Tomorrow, we should have part two. Okay, so by the time everybody sees this video, the setup will already be on the car. So I'm excited for that. That's gonna be awesome. Is it gonna be the same color or little little? That's a big time surprise. That's a big time surprise. Big time surprise. All right, it's gonna be acid green. Brand it's gonna be acid green wheels on this car, <laughs> an all acid green wheel. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Literally, this lighting doesn't get any better. Like everything just pops on this car now. So I'm gonna come over here. I'm just gonna get from a few more shots. Got a nice one right here. All right, so tell me what's next for the car. What? Tell me what's next for the car. Some cool anarchy AN. By the time this video comes out, the internet's already gonna see the car. Yeah, the internet saw the car already. Well, the next setup. I can't tell you, I can't disclose. What's your? By blood. I took a blood oath. Dab you up. Love you, bro. Drive Later. safe. I see you. Kaylee. Okay, we gotta go back to work. Pleasure seeing you. Say goodbye to everybody. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Let me do a little goodbye message. There we go. A little bit of active head tracking here. Um, great shoot today. 918, again, Porsche 918. That was a Vice Sock. Shout out to Ben, the owner of Wheels Boutique. That was his 918. Um, he's also the owner of Anarchy Wheels. Shout out to John at Anarchy Wheels for, you know, put, again, putting me in contact with Marvin to get this set done. I thought the shoot came out awesome. 
as the sun progressed over time, I like to shoot either early in the morning or later in the evening. In regards to shooting in the evening, it only it always starts off at a great sun position, always great lighting, and it just gets even better. And as the sun goes down, the one thing that I try to tell people that, or that I keep in mind of is that those last few minutes are really crucial because as the sun goes down, you only have, you know, 15, 10, five minutes until now the lighting is so harsh, you have to bump that ISO up, you're gonna get way more noise, you're gonna have to do a lot of noise correction. So it's really that crucial, not that, that sun, that golden sun hour, it's just that you have like that, that small increment where this lighting is just so perfect. You get the purples, you get the blues, you get the oranges, you get the yellows. You only get that at 7, 6.45, 7 o'clock in the morning, or you get that at six, well now daylight savings is ending, but now you only get that at six o'clock, soon to be 7.45 at night. So this set's gonna be awesome. We did not get to do rollers on this one, I promise. Um, we did rollers on the, on the P1, we did rollers on the 296. Didn't get to do rollers on here. Ben wants to keep those miles low. I get it, cars are show cars, unique. And the last thing I would want to do down here in Doral in Miami is have somebody just blatantly rear end it. That'd be horrible. So I'm signing out for this one. Shoot went great. I'm really stoked for it. I'm really more comfortable in front of the camera now, guys. I really appreciate everything from the first video and the second video. I'm not gonna stop. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna be testing out a new camera soon from Sony. Shout out to Phil, Phil Riggs. Uh, put me in contact with a guy from Sony. Um, I really want to try one of the new flagship cameras. Might have to go out to Houston for that one, might not. Um, but yeah, signing off for this one, guys. It was a pleasure. Pleasure seeing all of you, and see you in the next video.